Hello everyone, this is Rainbow Gypsy and welcome back to more Man of Madon. We are continuing where we left off. Um, this will be my third um, chapter basically that I'm going to be posting to my channel. Um, guys, definitely don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell at the bottom. That way you know each and every time I post new chapters, I will be playing this through and through as well as Resident Evil Revelations Part 1. I'm not too sure just yet if I'm going to go into another game, but so far my main focus is on this one. So let's just jump right in. Alright, play alone. Let's see, where were we at? Okay. We're at, the, we're at the dive. So basically we, uh, Alex, one of the characters, just proposed to his girlfriend, I think Julie or something like that, Julia, some crap. Um, and we said yes, um, and we got a trophy for it. So I'm assuming that was a good thing that we said yes. We're trying to just like build up the relationships as much as, as much as possible. That way it like, hopefully there's a better outcome at the ending of this game and more better survival rate because in the first chapter, I don't know if it was supposed to go down like that, but my guy got killed. So. A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. They got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Okay, we got good vibes. Cool, cool. My cat is like super happy because I just fed her wet food and she's like full and feeling her oats. Looking all cute. Artemis, you so cute. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Damn, that's harsh. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. Arrogant and then comes to mind Captain first. Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? More like a fling. Let me reassure you. You help Listen, them to when make in some London, decisions right? they'll value later on. A when in Rome. Well. <laughs> Wait, it's when in Rome. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> so guys, I'm super excited. I actually got um, the job I went on the interview for. Literally, I walked in. I spoke to her for like two seconds. She gave me the paperwork. I filled everything out. And I start on Wednesday. So to my other job, toodles, toodles. So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, Certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we yeah, should Yeah, he just proposed he at the bottom of the Eventually. ocean. I don't need to be all nasty. Now you're speaking my language. Been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything I don't want to be like, oh, my father can foot the bill. No, so that's ratchet. No. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Maybe you did. The second you said yes, we are enjoying a nice Budweiser, guys. Rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Love you too, boo. Where did everyone go? 
There is much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, oh no, no. are they yeah. doing the nasty? Got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. I was just getting them now. It was better than being nasty. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Okay, so now we're playing as Julia. So. I still think my favorite character so far is probably Fliss, just because I like that she seems like a bad bitch. Okay. Why you doing on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Let's say air rescue service combat island. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. But one, I'm not that sappy. But two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? Hey, hold on. Okay, so our relationship with him is good. So obviously, we got some jealousy going on because Fliss is not about my life at all, girl. Conrad, we all right. Brad, we can make it better. Okay, so we're gonna try to make it better as much as possible. Because I really would like to play this where everybody lives. Um, I doubt that's gonna happen, but let's give it a shot, shall we? I'm gonna go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the patty yet? Uh, oh my god, excuse me oh, guys. No, oh my god. not yet. Sorry. I got distracted. I had tacos and now I'm drinking a beer, so you're right now. My apologies, that was rude. Got it. Let's go up. Ugh. Come here, vixen. Alright, everybody's just a little too horny for me. Hey, Let's get it on and popping with the Let's action, guys. Let's go. Right if here. I ain't getting none, y'all shouldn't be getting none either. Oh, crrr. Wait, how did you do that? Oh, crrr. Sorry, guys. I know I'm being extra as hell. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold? gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. 
Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, <laughs> isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Ah, so gross. Hey, old. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. It's pretty cool. Hit me on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. Yeah, okay, no. I'm on his side with that because I definitely would be drinking beer left and right. I'm gonna die, I need to be drunk. At least. Or at least a buzz. So I'm like really eager to see how this is gonna play into the story from the post-World War II scenario. We already got the plane. Oh, hell to the hell, girl. What the hell? Who the F is that? Are those those guys, the fishermen? That's creepy. I don't want to waddling like that. Look at this. I knew they were going to kidnap us. Mm. 
Why he look like Id Idris Alba a little bit? Ah. Where the hell is this little dude, Brad? Any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. Well, how do I know? They were gonna kill us. They would have done it already. I'm not just True. afraid about being killed. Let's untie first. We gotta get untied. Like now. Oh, shit. It's no good. Come on. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Jesus, Conrad. Now beat the hell up. Wait. 
Wait, no! <gasps> Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastards! Hey. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy-buddy with him. Did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. So we're good with Fliss, Julia, we're good, Alex, we're building, Brad, we're building. Okay. Let's see Julia. Bad. Okay, I think so we're we doing okay. Minute. Maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. I don't understand what the f is going on here. Fuck, motherfuckers. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine, they didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, uh, he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. I don't know about this, fellas. I don't know. Two, three. Hey, what was that? What are you thinking? Conrad, just get to the boat. Go. I think she's a part of it. She has to be. What the hell are they what doing? What are you doing, you time? idiot? Careful. Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, old son. Shit. Shit. Throw him 
Are you serious? Remember downstairs. Oh man. I'm so upset. Use it if you have to. Are you kidding me? Sit down. Over there. You right here. Sit. Now. Where the frick is Brad? <laughs> Is he part of the mon bateau. Stop! Okay. Ferme la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Excuse me. Who is this guy? A wannabe candy man? All right, guys, so I'm going to cut it short right here because I don't want them to make this chapter way too long. And I honestly did not time it. So I don't want it to be all freaking like where it gets to an hour and then it stops recording. That's going to be annoying. So I'm going to cut it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell at the bottom. That way you know each and every time I post new content, I cannot wait to continue playing this game. I'm actually going to continue doing it. I'm just going to cut this chapter short and then re-record, not re-record, um, continue recording to another chapter and stuff like that. So again, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell at the bottom. I'm super stoked and super excited to continue this game for you all. All right, guys, I will see you on the flip side. Love you. Bye.